The Pat Guffey you see today is almost unrecognizable from the Pat Guffey she was just two years ago. Truly, she says people she once knew now walk right past her, not realizing who she is and who can blame them. When Dr. Sanborn performed Pat's gastric bypass in June 2014, she weighed 400 pounds and knew without a drastic change. I'd be dead. I knew I would. To understand what got Pat to that point, you have to go back to her childhood. Her father died when she was 12, leaving her mother alone to care for Pat, her sister and brother. Food became her mother's way to cope with grief, and while she poured love on her children, she also poured on the food. We had biscuits and gravy every morning and homemade cakes and fried chicken and all that stuff. And that's how we learned to cook. That's how I cooked. That's how my children were fed. The pounds came on and wouldn't come off. Pat remembers the embarrassment of being the fat kid at school and of the trouble it sometimes caused her family. Her mom once canceled the car insurance just so she could buy a prom dress for Pat that would fit. Eventually, the struggle with weight got so bad, Pat gave up trying. In a way, she gave up living, too. By the time she had her surgery, Pat was taking medicine for blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid problems. She couldn't even walk, but not anymore. Oh, man, there's nothing I can't do. And she's not kidding. She walks three miles a day now, kickboxes on Friday nights. In fact, she's so active, she recently took a few of her grandchildren on a 12-mile hike to the Blue Hole. I knew how to pace myself. They kept going faster, and I said, you need to slow down. Halfway up, they're laying on the ground. I stepped over them and kept on walking. On the weekends, you'll find Pat here in the maternity ward of Erlanger's downtown campus, answering calls and rocking the babies. New lives coming into this world, and they're a reminder to Pat that it's never too late to start life anew.